If this face bears a striking resemblance to a certain fictional archaeologist, it may be because the creator of Indiana Jones was inspired by the painting. Peach Crop belongs to director and producer George Lucas. It is one of more than 30 works from his collection in the exhibition Telling Stories. There are other works here that belong to his fellow filmmaker, Steven Spielberg. Both Lucas and Spielberg see Rockwell ultimately not just as an illustrator, not just as a maker of pictures, but a teller of visual stories. Virginia Mecklenburg is curator of the exhibition. George Lucas, in fact, said when we did an interview with him that he thought that one of the reasons he was so comfortable when he got into the movie business because he already knew how to tell a story visually from having looked at Norman Rockwell's covers. Rockwell did covers for the Saturday Evening Post for nearly 50 years. All are on display at the Norman Rockwell Museum in Stockbridge, Massachusetts. Some of his pictures illustrated stories inside magazines, but even those that did not do seem to tell a story. This is one of the things that George Lucas loves about Rockwell, but he also says that he grew up in the Norman Rockwell world. Everything that you see in Norman Rockwell's pictures, he grew up doing and it was part of his life. This painting is from Spielberg's collection. Steven Spielberg said it actually reminds him of himself. When he's starting to write a movie, he says he just sits there at the typewriter waiting for a little thought bubble to emerge over his head that'll finally get his fingers dancing across the keys. This hangs in Spielberg's office a reminder of how he feels whenever he begins a film project. Some of these images were painted when Rockwell was in Hollywood in the 1930s, including this one of Gary Cooper on the set getting his makeup applied. The Norman Rockwell Museum holds the largest collection of Rockwell art. Photographs in their archives show that Rockwell often approached his own work like a filmmaker. When he selected his models, he had them audition. He selected props, he selected costumes, he worked with lighting, and then he staged everything. Rockwell's attention to detail created images that still tell stories, decades after they were created. Much like the films of his two biggest fans. Susan Logue, VOA News, Washington. Great shot, kid. That was one in a million.